Okay, so today I want to present to you a method how you can develop business models that potentially can disrupt any market and become billion dollar businesses one day. And this method is called the business model navigator. But before we jump right into it, let's look at the alternatives. So what options do you have when you want to develop a business model? Um, the first thing that might come to your mind is observing and interviewing customers. So this is done in design thinking a lot and it's actually a very good approach because you need to understand your customers, you need to understand customer problems and you have to develop solutions that fit to those customer problems. The difficulty here is when you start with um, observing and interviewing customers as, a, as the first step in the process is that uh, you don't know whom to talk to. You don't know whom to interview and therefore you have to talk to many people and another issue is that people don't typically don't tell you how your business model should look like. So they might tell you something about their problems and needs, which is good. But on the other hand, you will not find out what kind of re revenue mechanism you should use. How can you scale it? How can you create a lock-in? A second option when you want to develop a new business model is just brainstorming, right? This is done in corporate innovation a lot. M many people know that and it's a very efficient way. So you just need 45 minutes to an hour, some people, and you just ping pong ideas. Um, and it's yeah, very fast, you, have, you can create a lot of ideas in a very short time. The issue here is that it's typically not that innov innovative. So many people just come up with ideas that they already had in their head before. They just use it as a channel to express their ideas, which is fine, but you will not end up with the next big thing. A third option when you want to develop a new business model is just waiting until creativity hits you. Sounds a little bit funny, but actually when you talk to entrepreneurs, when you talk to successful innovators, they think about problems very, for a very long time, for maybe months, for maybe years. And then they have this moment when they just have this kind of inspiration, this epiphany moment when everything comes together, everything that they thought about in the past perfectly fits together and then they just create a perfect idea. Uh, the problem here, of course, is you never know if this happens, when this happens, and when you have this kind of epiphany moment, you typically have this moment alone. So in the end, you have to sell your idea to the team, to other people. If you're a good salesman, if you are good in pitching, this might be not a big problem for you, but the difference is uh, when you develop an idea together with a team, people are much more committed, people are much more involved, people have this kind of feeling of ownership. And this is what you actually need to get an innovation uh, realized, to get it implemented. You need a lot of people who take ownership, who are committed to the idea. So, and here is where the business model navigator comes into play. So the professors Oliver Gassman and Karin Frankenberger, they are two professors from the U University of St. Gallen in Switzerland and also founders of the BMI Lab, the company I'm running. They analyzed hundreds of business model innovations and came up with a list of 55 business model patterns. And these business model patterns are basically logics how you can run a business successfully. So what does that mean? So uh, I want to give you an example. One famous example for a business model innovation pattern is the razor and blade pattern. It got its name from Gillette, the company that is selling razors and razor blades for more than 100 years. And you probably will know that as a consumer, when you buy a razor from Gillette, it's quite cheap. But then when you have to buy the razor blades, it's not that cheap anymore. It's quite expensive. So the logic here is to sell a product in combination with consumables. And um, in this model, you have a kind of, you create a lock-in. So you prevent competitors and everybody else to also produce these consumables, to also produce the razor blades, and then you make the profit over time. So that's the idea here. And we call it a pattern because you can transfer the same logic to other products. For example, Nespresso coffee machines, or you have printers with uh, printer cartridges from you Packard. So it's a kind of similar or same logic, but it's a different industry and that's why we call it a business model pattern. Okay, so how can you actually use those business model innovation patterns? So we as the BMI lab have developed the BMI pattern cards. On each card, there is a description of one business model innovation pattern. 
These are the cards here and on the back side of those cards you will see the description and also some examples of companies that successfully used those patterns in the past. And with the help of these cards uh, you can do a brainstorming session, a so-called enhanced brainstorming session. So maybe invite three to four people and then you will go through the cards one after the other. So after five minutes you change to the next card and then to the next card and you always force yourself to come up with as many ideas as possible. So at least five ideas. So after 45 to 50 minutes or 60 minutes you will have probably 40, 50, 60, even 60 business model ideas. So you, you can generate a lot of ideas in a very, very short time. Um, so that's not the end, it's just a starting point. You have all these ideas probably on post-it notes and then you have to select those ideas, you have to combine some of the ideas, but the likelihood is quite good that you have a very successful business model in your hands. You just have to find it, you have to test your ideas later on. So that's, that's the step that is coming afterwards, but that's a very efficient first step to generate great business model ideas. So thanks for watching, I wish you good luck with that and I'll see you in the next video.